Hey peeps down here, also on a swig. Had a rough day. For no reason whatsoever. I don't know why I had a rough day today. Um, maybe because I wasn't working. Um, it's Sunday today, Sunday the 12th, day 12 of my oper um, hashtag Operation Lowest Weight and DSK. But wow, I have stuck to the plan exactly exactly I have input absolutely everything into my fitness pal I have shown you guys all of my meals and everything I've eaten I wanted to eat today I just wanted to eat and, and not because I was hungry I'd take a step back and go am I hungry no I'm not hungry but I want to eat I just want to eat it's like I couldn't um I wanted that full feeling and I just wasn't getting it and, and uh, quite honestly I try and stay away from that full feeling simply because I have heard I don't know if this is true or not but I've heard that if you eat as a as a R and Y patient or a, a, um, a bariatric patient out of any kind if you eat that one spoonful too many consistently over years you will stretch out your your pouch, your sleeve, your whatever it is that you have. I don't want that to happen. Um, but I felt like I needed that full feeling today. Um, I planned my meals today. I followed my meals today, but I ended up eating early. Uh, I actually ate my breakfast late, and then I had my lunch no, I think I ate my lunch at lunchtime. No, it was lunchtime for my lunch. But I ate my dinner at like 4 o'clock. So normally it would be 4.35. And then I had my snack, or I, I don't know what to call it. It's the same amount of calories as all the rest of my meals. But my last meal of the day, I had it at like 7 o'clock-ish, I think it was. Instead of closer to 8, 8.30. And, um, I don't know, I, at like 8.30, I was like, I need something, I need something. So, I made a conscious decision to eat something. And I'm kicking myself in the ass for it now, but you know what? I kept it keto. Something just fell down in my backyard and nobody should be back there because it's 11 o'clock at night. I don't know what that was, but I think I'll lock the door. <laughs> Um, so, where was I? Um, yeah, no, I just wanted to eat. So, what I did was I kept a keto. Um, I consciously made the decision to eat. I ha ended up, over the course of the next hour, eating six macro muffins with whipped cream and sugar-free syrup. So, I did absolutely keep a keto. I have not put it in my fitness pal yet, but I will definitely do that. Um, as soon as I'm done doing this and I will document it in my stories and yeah anyways and you know what I don't, I don't know I maybe what I need to do is have a, like a checklist or something that I can go down and go why am I doing this and how am I feeling and because I've been feeling oh here's another thing I've been feeling really great but the last two days, I've felt like I'm back to that 337 pounds. So what's up with that? You know, like I, I walk past a mirror or I see my reflection in a window and, and I go, oh, and I'm pleasantly surprised and I go, oh, well, you know, like I do look better. I do look thinner. I do look um, more like a normal person person or what I consider to be a normal person but when you know like last yesterday when I was getting dressed and ready for the day I, I kind of you know while I'm standing in the washroom with, with nothing on and I look down and I see my gut and I go Ugh. and it just feels like it just feels the same as it did 135 pounds ago so I, you know, 
And, and it's and this is the weird thing because I had a conversation with a girlfriend last week about how I've kind of forgotten what it was like to be that heavy and how I don't feel like I've lost a lot of weight because I feel like this is like what I am now is the norm is you know what I mean like I've been here long enough I've been th at this approximate weight for a year so I've been here long enough for it to feel like the norm which makes me feel fat again does that make sense still hearing noises outside Um, so anyways, so now, and here's another thing. I don't understand why I'm having these feelings right now because like all day yesterday I wore a pair of jeans and I actually pulled them down at one point to find out what size they were because they kept falling off of me. And then I noticed that when I would go to the washroom, I'd pull my pants down without jeans. Now mind you, they were stretch jeans, but, but, um, without undoing the button or the zipper, so they're too big for me. They're size 16. <clears throat> I know I'm not a 16 anymore. I know I'm a 14 um, in most of my clothes. <clears throat> so I shouldn't be feeling like this. I am very happy right at this moment that even though I chose to eat tonight, that I kept it keto 100%. Um, I didn't even waver to think of not having, of, of having something that wasn't keto. Um, and there's stuff around in my house that isn't keto. My husband doesn't do keto. But for the most part, there is a lot of stuff in my house that, or that isn't in my house anymore. Um, you know, I, like I'm looking right now at some wraps, but I took them out of the freezer and um, they've been in there for a while. So, you know. We're just using up things in our cupboards right now. I'm trying not to go shopping. I have been trying to do that since before, um, since our trip. So I haven't really done any grocery shopping since then. I'd be back. So I think I was talking about groceries. <clears throat> so, <coughs> sorry. Um, I haven't done any grocery shopping, very, very little grocery shopping in the last three weeks. And we're just trying to use up what's in our cupboards. And it's getting hard on um, my husband. <laughs> um, I found in the last few days, I'm picking up a lot of spoons around the house. And I couldn't figure out, like, what, what the hell's with the spoons? He had three spoons beside his chair. And then there's a couple spoons sitting on the on the counters. And I'm like, what's, what's with all these spoons? And uh, what he's doing is he's, there's no bread. So what he's doing is he's... Um, taking a spoon, which he's seen me do. Now, I'm not saying because I did it, but, and he's taking a scoop of Nutella and a scoop of peanut butter and kneading it off the spoon just like that, um, which is something I would have done before, not with the, with the Nutella before, but not now. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're just trying to, to empty everything in. Hunting season's coming up, and so we got to finish up the meat that we have in our freezer, so I really shouldn't be buying anything. You know, try to stay away from chicken and, you know, anything store-bought, any meat store-bought, because we really do need to use up what's in our freezer. Um, anyways, back to my, my clothes. Um, so I was, I was happy that I... The size 16 jeans really don't fit me, but I think... Maybe part of my, um, this, this little thing that I'm going through in the last couple of days, I think while I was sitting here talking about it, I thought, oh, I bet you this is why, where it's one of the things that it stems by. So I think it was Wednesday, I was in a sports nutrition store. So the sales protein powders and, um, supplements and stuff like that and um, when I was there I saw this drip fit um, belt and I've been watching a lady on Instagram 
I want to say it's a little bit of just a little a little bit of a little bit of Jessica. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look up her name. Anyways, um, and for a while there, she was showing her drip belt and she would exercise and she'd go she'd pull it back and she'd go look at how much sweat there is behind this thing you know it really works so I thought I would get one and I saw one in the store and when I looked at it um, I it was in a, in a box and I'll fold it up here it is drip fit and um, I thought my first thought was is it going to fit me and the guy was standing right there. And something that I've started doing, I don't know, since I've lost weight and I guess feeling more confident in myself is um, asking more questions or questions that I feel are embarrassing to me. And, um, you know, I would never have asked at 337 pounds, do you think that'll fit me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it wouldn't have. And... Um, so the, the, I asked the guy, I said, what do you think of that? It, have people been buying them and stuff? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, lots of people have been buying them and things, and they're really great and whatever. Um, so I thought, I really do want one. Um, even if it's not necessarily for the sweat or to contour your belly or whatever, I, that's even if it's just to hold everything in while I'm exercising, because I do need compression while I'm working out. Otherwise, working out is really quite difficult for me, simply because of the size of my penis. And um, so I thought, I would like to get even just for that. And I was like, do you, do you, do you think it's gonna fit me? He's like, oh yeah, well it's one size fits all. And I was like, okay, that doesn't mean anything to me. That means nothing. It's like, well, no, 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 that'll fit you. It's huge, it's huge. And I was like, mm. And of course, they want to make a sale too. So he says, well, well, just hand it to me and we'll take it out of the box. So he goes, he takes it out of the box. He goes, see, look at, look at how big it is. It's, it's, it's huge. It would wrap around me two, three times. And I looked at it and he goes, look at, look at. We'll put it together. Look at how big it is. And I'm looking at him like, and I even said it, yeah, but do you think it's going to fit me? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, of course it's going to fit you. He says, look at it, look at how big it is. Of course it's going to fit you. I said, well, there's, probably, there's a day that it wouldn't have, and I still have that brain. And um, yeah, so you know what? I haven't actually put it on, so let me. Oh, yeah, it does fit. Sorry, I dropped my notes, my scratch. So I always forget what I'm talking to you guys about. So anyways, I'm kind of excited to try this tomorrow. I'm gonna, gonna start walking on my ankle tomorrow and see you know, how I do. Just kind of take it easy and um, my wrist, I haven't felt any problems in my wrist in the last little bit, so. Um, yeah, that's that's. I don't know. I don't know where, where where this is all coming from right now. But it helps to talk to you guys about it. It really does. See, you, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate you guys, and how much I appreciate this whole community. Um. I think I'm gonna just leave it on that. Well, no, you know what? You know what? I think maybe. Another reason I could be feeling like this. Maybe I've reached my protein threshold. <laughs> I'm at like 128 grams of protein a day or something like that. I have got to have reached it. You know, they, they say if you're starting to feel lethargic or if you're starting to feel um, um, bloated or um, there's a whole bunch of different symptoms that you could feel once you've reached your protein threshold. And um, I've noticed that I have had um, a decent amount of swelling in my feet, uh, re water retention, and maybe it's just this blah feeling that I'm having. 
I don't have the energy that I had even last week and um, yeah, maybe that's what it is. My weight. Now they also say if your weight spikes or if you you maintain your weight for a, a bit that um, you, you most likely have reached a protein threshold. Now I lost weight again yesterday. Not lots. But it's slowed down quite a bit. Um, but I think starting on Wednesday, I will probably move to phase two of the program. So of the DSK program, because that's what you do once you've reached a protein threshold and I think really 120 I think it's 128 grams of protein that I'm, I'm eating a day um, is plenty so yeah I think that's what I'll do um, anyways I'm gonna leave it out at that for now I'm going to um, include my insta stories next uh, if you don't watch me on instagram you can watch them there and uh yeah so if you are new to my channel sorry for being such a downer today but hey and if you are returning to my channel thank you so very much love each and every one of you and thank you thank you thank you so much for all of your support if you've got any questions or comments for me leave them below if you are um still wanting to see the rest of these videos uh, for the rest of the month give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah so if you're not already hit subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to get the notifications that I posted a video I am trying to do it every single day I am doing my videos every single day I am not always able to upload them to um, YouTube every day and I'm finding that in the middle of the night is the best time to upload because uh, I don't know, maybe people aren't using the internet as much then. I don't know how that works. But, uh, so I'm only really doing one a day and I have, end up missing days. But all of my days will be there in consecutive order eventually. So, I think that's it for now. And stay tuned if you haven't already seen my Insta stories. For my Insta stories. Peace out, peeps. Okay. 12 holy smokes here's my breakfast <clears throat> got one egg with one ounce of cheese and I've got a um, bulletproof coffee with half a scoop of protein hey peeps it's lunchtime Sunday and I'm just getting ready to go out and I will first have my lunch it's hard-boiled eggs with four ounces of canned ham mayo cheese salt and pepper so it's almost four o'clock and I feel like eating so I'm gonna have my dinner now um, I am having uh, some meat cheese and then the same fat bomb I made yesterday with coconut oil um, and coconut oil peanut butter and Lily's chocolate hey peeps so again I've been fighting the urge to just munch uh, I've been really good but I have been fighting that urge so I'm having my nighttime snack a little bit early at 6 30 I would normally have it around 8 so here it is meat cheese olives and two scoops of um, protein powder in water so I used one scoop of chocolate protein powder and one scoop of vanilla latte um, yeah tasty